Oh, also inspiring. Now, this morning, we've been bringing you content live from Joburg. Uh, take a look at this story. Now, who would have thought that sitting down with your partner to watch Chef, uh, basically a movie about a professional chef who quits his day job to travel across the country in a food truck, would inspire you to start your own fleet of food trucks? Well, that's exactly the origin story behind Candace and Jade Chef's journey with the filthy moustache. And our Johannesburg correspondent, Sulu Piri, he met up with them at Modderfontein Bird and Sculpture Park to find out more. Take a look at this. There's nothing quite like biting into a delicious, scrumptious, flavorful burger while enjoying a vibrant market with your loved ones. There's an award-winning food truck called the Filthy Mastage that has set out to fill the tummies of the masses and make sure that you'll need a serviette or three once you're done. Established in 2016, the Filthy Moustache team comprises of Candice and Jade, and their ethos of being cool and funky definitely complements the mouth-watering dishes served from their mobile eatery. What makes this establishment stand out from its competitors is that it was recently recognized by the Restaurant Association of South Africa Awards as the best food truck in SA, and it's really not difficult to see why. Hey, Jade, how are you doing, man? Hello, right, getting yourself. Are you well? So, Jade, I hear you've had quite an unconventional start to how the Filthy Mass starch came about. Tell me more. It was a Friday night, myself and my partner, Candice. Uh, we were just thinking of what type of names we could name uh, our business. And now it's an argument of who actually came up with the name. But I, I do believe that it was myself. How has the street food scene in Johannesburg grown and how has your business grown in relation to that? It's definitely grown over the past four years. Um, there's been a lot of new entrants in the last four years, a lot of new food trucks, guys doing cool to cool things. So it's really um, helped the industry grow over the last four years. I'd say we're nowhere near to where the industry can be compared to places all around the world. But it is getting to that point where we will see a lot more food trucks around Johannesburg. The Filthy Moustache definitely has grown over the last four years. We've added on another four trucks to our, our brand and yeah, so you'll see us all over Joburg. I ordered the bro stash. It's a sweeter one with the caramelized onion and the bacon. I actually follow them around a little bit. I stalk them and um, I just love the filthy moustache. It's a whole experience. It's the staff and it's just the whole atmosphere of the truck and uh, I really love their burgers. So uh, I ordered a burger, a cheese burger, uh, and I would say I like the, the petty, uh, crunchy outside and soft inside. Certainly marching to the beat of their own drum, the Filthy Moustache team have set themselves with the mission of showing Joburg their quirky, naughty and fun side. Candice, the Filthy Moustache recently won an award. How does it feel like to be recognised for the work that you've been doing? It was definitely a surprise, we didn't expect it. And it, we're using it as a motivation to improve what we currently have and it also just gave us that you know, that feeling that we're actually on the right track and everyone is super happy with what we're doing. What are some of your award-winning dishes on the menu and how did you come up with them? So, um, obviously with trial and error, um, but we've got two sides of our, our business. We do the, the gourmet burgers and the gourmet hot dogs. Um, I would say that the best burger is our brostache burger. Um, just from, popular, from popularity and, you know, the way the people ordering it the most, that's sort of how we found out that that was our best one. Um, and then hot dogs, the lady tickler. Can you take us through how some of your signature dishes are made? Sure, so we've got the brostache burger and the lip rug burger. And today in Matapelo and Wisdom, we'll be showcasing how it's done. Matapelo, how are you? I'm good in yourself. I'm very well, thank you very much. It's very hot up here, ne? Welcome to our well. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what exactly are you going to be making? I'll today? be making you a Libra burger. It's a 180 beef patty with melted cheese on, crispy bacon. We use jalapenos, mustard and peri peri. Sounds delicious. If you want to get this yummy and delectable food in your mouth and in your tummy, you can visit them at the Friday Night Lights Market here at Modafonte or the Deep Roots Market in Pretoria. Don't forget your napkins.